Hi, it's John Davis here with another business boosting tip. This week I want to talk about one of my favourite subjects, which is premium pricing. Now this is where you take your standard product and you make it a bit better so you can then sell it for additional money. Now better could mean a number of things. It could be faster, it could be bigger, it could be smaller, or just for premium quality, but ultimately it's something that has to give your customer extra value that they're willing to pay for. So it's a win-win. The customer gets something and you get more money for it. Now, an example I've seen recently that I really liked was in supermarkets, and it's all to do with onions. You see, it can be a bit of hassle actually having to chop an onion, and therefore some people actually want the convenience of having someone else do it for them, because that will save some time and save some tears. So, at the moment, if you go into one of the supermarkets, you can buy one of these, a standard brown onion for 78 pence per kilo. But, if you want to save that time, save those tears, instead, you can buy these, ready diced onions, which sell at £4.45 per kilo. Now that's a 470% markup. But people are willing to pay it for the convenience, for the speed. And that's why it's a great premium product. Again, it's a win-win. It's a win for the customer, because they've saved the time. It's a win for the supermarket, because they've made some extra money. So, what good examples have you seen recently of premium products? And also, where could you apply one into your business? Because there's a premium product in every business. So if you've got some good examples, please let us know. Use the comments below, or I'd love to get an email off you, or a phone call using the numbers below. And also we can chat about any ideas for applying a premium product in your business. So, I hope that was helpful. I'll see you soon with another business boosting tip.